Before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Arch Nail. He said, With equality comes the joys of things like the vote and the draft. Enjoy repairing the sprinklers and all the fun jobs. You got this Queens? Well said, brother. When shit hits the fan and it's time to go to war, suddenly nobody wants to be a feminist. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5. As usual, guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me, so don't forget to leave a comment, and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too, as it helps a lot. Now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. I saw an interesting comment in yesterday's video about the so-called independent modern women. Interested to see if you guys think this is a W take or an L? Bro, even my own mother does that disgusting kind of thing. Every time I've seen her talk to a bloke, she is always trying to extract something out of them, and it's usually either money or free labor. She even does it to me. She said the porch needed painting, so I asked her who did it last time, and she proudly boasted that she did. So I told her she could do it again then, and she started to try to manipulate me into doing it by pretending she didn't know how to do it. So one minute she was a proud, independent woman, and the next minute she was a poor, stupid woman that needed help. I just said, you do it the same as you did last time. I'm busy. If you struggle, then just Google it. See ya. The next time I see her, she is painting it, doing it completely wrong, and pretending to struggle. She had invited one of her boyfriends by, for a drink, and before you know it, he is volunteering to do it for her. They are so manipulative, man. Even their children are servants. See, personally, I would have agreed if it had been just another woman, but the fact it is your own mother. The only female in this world that will love you unconditionally is your mother. Anyways, let us have a look at today's clips. What kind of world do we live in? Where a normal, regular girl cannot find just a regular guy out here to date because these guys don't want a real woman they want a fantasy they want to live in this fake fantasy world they would rather jack off to some screen to some robot rather than actually deal with a real human being and what comes with that you know why because it's easier and I am done I'm done. Let's unpack this, shall we? Because it's about time someone laid it out plainly without sugarcoating. This modern dating dilemma? Feminism lied to women about it. Feminism promised women that they could hop from one partner to the next with reckless abandon, and there would always be a committed, loving man waiting at the end of that rainbow. Sorry, ladies, but reality doesn't work that way. This really does show the delusion in today's dating landscape. A normal, regular girl can't find an average guy to date? Seriously, I'm not one to kick someone when they're already down, but come on. The dating scene might be challenging for everyone, but asserting that it's some monumental task for an average woman to find a counterpart in an average guy is just off base. But here's where the irony lies. Women often condemn men for having dating standards, 
If a man expresses a desire for a woman who hasn't had numerous partners, he's immediately labeled insecure or toxic. Pro tip for the ladies. If a man sets boundaries and standards in a relationship, it usually means he sees long-term potential with you. But then again, why value a man's feelings when we can just demonize him, right? Let's put the cards on the table. For the typical guy, dating is a minefield that's treacherous and filled with rejections. You think you're tired of the game? Try stepping into the shoes of the average Joe for a moment. From his perspective, the dating landscape might seem like a barren wasteland. But you wouldn't know about that, would you? I've seen this script played out time and again. A woman chases the bad boy or some emotionally unavailable archetype, and then when reality bites, suddenly, it's the fault of the entire male species. How about taking a step back and evaluating your choices? Let's get real. There are plenty of average guys out there who would genuinely value a meaningful relationship with an average woman. But the catch? They're often overlooked or relegated to the friend zone. Consider the statistics. The median guy is about 5'9 and earns a decent average salary. Sure, some women might scoff at these figures with their towering expectations of a 6-foot tall millionaire, and if that's your standard, go chase it. But don't come crying when reality doesn't align with your fantasy. Let's take a look at some comments. These women are undateable, absolutely insufferable. Accountability is their kryptonite. They want to live in some fantasy world. That's some of the hardest projection I've seen in a while. Real women do not go on TikTok and film herself crying for a normal man who is not on TikTok. Cry me a river, ladies. You had your chance, now reap what you've sown. Women want six, five millionaires, and she talks about men wanting a fantasy? Remember guys, she is crying and suffering for the top percent of men. The vast majority of us are invisible to them. Make bad decisions and blame men for the bad outcomes seems to be the only playbook for decades. Shaking my head. Rather than deal with a real human being and what comes with that. What comes with that is largely negative for men. Something tells me she was approached by regular guys, but in her eyes, they simply weren't good enough. Creeps. Her tears are BS. And did anyone else notice her shirt about narcissism? Oh, the irony. Look, I gave up on modern women and have been celibate since 2015, and I couldn't be happier. No stress, and I'm financially doing great. Now with that being said, if I ever meet an old-fashioned and honorable lady who is willing to take care of the housework and my bedroom desires, I would gladly support her. But I don't believe such women exist anymore. Please, 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 Walter, please, 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 Can you please stop acting like please, that? I can't. All right, calm down. I'm hurt. because she cheated. Wow, this generation is so awful. Another teary-eyed performance, hoping to score some sympathy points. Fellas, don't be fooled by the waterworks. It's not regret that's causing those tears, but the realization of what she stands to lose. Is she really upset about hurting the guy, or is she more concerned about kissing goodbye to the comfortable lifestyle he provided? There's a stark difference between regretting an action and regretting getting caught or facing the aftermath. Such emotional outbursts are often tactics employed to manipulate men and try to anchor them back into the relationship. It's less about him and more about the perks he brings. She's not crying for love, she's crying for the lifestyle. Guys, always remember to differentiate between genuine remorse and a performance aimed to keep the luxuries flowing. Don't get played. 
Let's have a look at some comments. It's so easy for them to lie on camera. Enjoy the consequences of your decisions and behavior. ha. <laughs> Their decisions are coming back to bite them, and they don't like it accountability. She cheated, got found out, and now she goes into full tantrum mode to have her ex take her back? Even if she hadn't cheated, a woman disrespecting me that way in order to get what she wants is an automatic disqualifier. It's a shocking display of immaturity, irresponsibility, and a pathetic attempt at manipulation. I've had women act like this as well. I'm 45 now. Walk away, men. I'm glad I don't have to stress about this crazy shit. Lone wolf lifestyle, gentlemen. Just live a peaceful lone wolf lifestyle. How long have you been with your man? Six months. How does he feel about you coming out dressed like, you know, how you are? So it feels like a little bit of a pointed question, but he trusts me and I trust him, so... Did you guys ever have a conversation beforehand? Yes. No. Okay. What did you guys discuss? It was more of like a, I'm going to do this, but I trust your input, so I'm going to let you know, but in the end of the day, it's like we are our, our own people, so... I'm going to do what I think is best for myself and for our relationship. People will sexualize you for what you look like when you have a certain body type no matter what you wear. So you might as well own it, you might as well be confident about yourself, but it doesn't necessarily convey that you're on the market or that you're looking for a guy, it's just you having fun with your girls. So, Based on how she's dressed, do you think that she's single or in a relationship? Oh, single, for sure. You see, this right here is a snapshot of modern dating. A perfect storm of mixed signals, misplaced priorities, and blind delusion. Ladies, can we just take a second and be real? You're going out wearing clothes that leave next to nothing to the imagination, and then you're puzzled why men don't trust or value such behavior in a committed relationship. Newsflash, it's not rocket science. The way this woman talks about the conversation she had with her boyfriend doesn't sound like a healthy discussion. More like she just railroaded him, telling him how things would be. And while individuality is important in a relationship, respect and consideration for your partner's feelings should never be disregarded. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, you can wear whatever you want. Sure, it's your body. However, consider the implications. When you're in a relationship, you're not just representing yourself, you're representing both of you. What you do reflects on your partner, and vice versa. Going out dressed to garner every wandering eye isn't really about empowerment or self-expression. It's a desperate cry for attention, validation, and a brazen display of how little you value the bond with your partner. Her defense? People will sexualize you no matter what, but there's a massive difference between being appreciated for your natural beauty and literally parading yourself for the world to see. And trust me, the world does see. It's quite telling when a random person assumes you're single based solely on the way you're dressed. Dave Chappelle hit the nail on the head. You may not be a whore, but you're wearing a whore's uniform. Harsh? Yes. True? Absolutely. This isn't about shaming anyone for their choices, but it's about understanding the repercussions of those choices. In the end, if modern women continue down this road, they shouldn't be surprised when modern men decide it's not worth the hassle. Let's have a look at some comments. The attention she receives from strangers is more vital than the opinion of her man. If you're a woman in a relationship and think this is even okay to do, then you seriously need help. No woman with good morals and respect for a relationship will ever go out like that, no matter what he says. If she truly loves that man, she'd make sure she's well-dressed no matter what. The ending couldn't have ended any better than that. She's rocking that please look at me fit. She said, I'm gonna what's best for me and my relationship. I don't trust anything as much as she trusts those straps. Outside partying with another single friend doing what's best for her meaning her options are still open, buddy if he's not in love, better get the F away or detach emotionally from her. Protect yourself at all times, gents. It's just you having fun with your girls. Yeah, I see those girls bouncing all over the place. My boy still got time to run. It's only been six months. It's fine. Don't change your clothes for a man. A man won't change his behavior for you, so... And as soon as she told me that, she would be single. If you're in a relationship, then you need to represent that relationship. Being loyal isn't just about not messing around. It's also looking like you're in a relationship. 
Where the fuck are our kings at? Don't worry, fellas. I got this. They're at work right now, saving so they can get their passport together so that they can go ahead and get a wife that's foreign who has traditional values. They're at work right now, saving for retirement for one, because they don't want to take the chance of marrying a woman who can take half of their shit. You've canceled them. You've silenced them. Because either you were spouting a feminist narrative that doesn't allow men to be men, or you were silent while your sisters did and you didn't check that shit. They're effeminate because they were raised by single mothers and denied contact with their fathers. They're effeminate because you socialize them in school to act like women instead of to be men. They're effeminate because you taught them everything about their masculinity was toxic. You've turned them into women or disenfranchised them. I have a question. Bucks, thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.